Hey beautiful people of the Most High God, all praises to the Most High. So this video is about men. God wants me to speak about men's hearts and how men's hearts are different from women's hearts and how he speaks specifically to men in the book of Proverbs concerning their heart and for me to go into scriptures like concerning the heart. And obviously, if you watched other videos of mine, I spoke about the heart before and that your heart and your mind go together and your, mar your heart with your thoughts go together. But women's hearts and men's hearts are made totally different. All right. But let's get into what God wants me to teach and explain with these scriptures and to read in the book of Proverbs and the other scriptures that he has directed me to bring revelation to men's hearts and why they operate in such a way that they've been operating and the reason behind it, okay? So in Ecclesiastes 8 and 11, because, sen because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. So God is saying the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. So men, he's talking about men. All right. And your heart. So we're going to get a Proverbs now in Matthew 9 and 4. And Christ, knowing their thoughts, said, Wherefore think you evil in your hearts? So people's hearts. And men's hearts are made totally different from women's hearts, which is why they're supposed to guard their hearts. Because evil can go into a man's heart. And when evil's in a man's heart, evil's in a man's mind. Okay? And Christ, as you can see, Christ didn't have the heart of men that, that most men have. Alright? Christ had a loving heart. Christ had a merciful heart. God, Christ had a forgiving heart. Men these days, they have evil hearts. And that goes with the mind. Like, they're taught not to show affections and emotions and feelings, which is not true. Christ showed affections, emotions, and feelings, and he was strong. You know, stronger than all men, right? And... He was loving and he was kind. Men are taught to be prideful. Christ was humble. He had a humble heart, right? So everything, they teach a contradiction on how a man is supposed to be. And that's what God wants you to know. Because Christ, he put above all men, right? But Christ's heart is not prideful. So I'm just going to get into what God wants me to speak about. I don't want to rear off, but that is what he does want me to speak about. Christ's heart as well and men's heart today. So my son. So this is what he's saying that he's talking to his sons, men who he's created. My son, if thou will receive my words and hide my commandments with thee so that thou will incline thy ear unto wisdom and apply thy heart to understanding. So you're supposed to have an understanding heart. Men. Men are supposed to apply their heart to understand. So you can have an understanding heart, a heart filled of a heart filled with love, a heart filled with knowledge, a heart filled with understanding. God's telling men their heart is supposed to be filled with understanding. Yeah, if thou cries after knowledge and lifts up thy voice for understanding, if thou seeks her as silver and searches for as for hid treasures, then shall thou understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord gives wisdom out of his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. He lays up sound wisdom for the righteous. He's a buckler to them that walk uprightly. He keeps the paths of judgment and preserves the way of his saints. Then shall thou understand righteousness and judgment and equity. Yeah, every good path. When wisdom enters into thy heart. So you hear this part. Wisdom enters into thy heart. 
So there's many, and then it talks about there's many devices in a man's heart, but the counsel of God shall stand, right? So when understand, a man's heart is supposed to have wisdom. A man's heart is supposed to have understanding. A man's heart is supposed to have love. A man's heart is supposed to have truth and honesty. We're going to get there because that's why, um, if you see my video before, God talked about bloody and deceitful men shall not live out half their days. But then he's going to talk about the heart and how men who are truthful and merciful, they have length of days. That's the opposite of being a bloody and deceitful man. Because deceit is dishonesty. That's not being truthful. Being bloody is not being merciful. So we're good. we're going to get there. So when wisdom enters into thy heart and knowledge is pleasant unto thy soul, discretion shall preserve thee. Understanding shall keep thee. So when wisdom enters their soul, discretion is what's going to preserve this man. The understand, understanding shall keep thee because understanding is in his heart. To deliver thee from the way of evil men. So God's teaching men how to discern an evil friend, an evil man who's their friend. To deliver thee from the way of evil men. So when you have an understanding heart, when you have a heart of wisdom... It will deliver you because you'll have discretion because discretion will shall preserve thee the, the, and understanding shall keep thee. So when you have this understanding and wisdom in your heart, it'll deliver thee from the ways of evil men, from the men that speaks forward things who leave the paths of uprightness to walk in the ways of darkness, who rejoice to do evil and delight in forwardness of the wicked whose ways are crooked, and they forward in their paths, to deliver thee from the strange woman, even from the stranger which flatters with her words. So what is this understanding God has given men in their heart, and this wisdom God has given men in their heart? To deliver them from the ways of evil men, and to deliver them from strange women and women that would flatter them. And then God goes on to explain the type of women they are. And God explains what these women can do to these men with their flattery. Now we're going to go into Proverbs chapter 3. He goes on to talk to his sons again. He says, my son. So we were just in Proverbs chapter 2. Now we're in Proverbs chapter 3. My son, forget not my law, but let thy heart keep my commandments so your heart this is about your heart for length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee remember when i brought up earlier bloody and deceitful men shall not live out half thy days but look here my son forget not my law but let thy heart keep my commandments for length of days and long life and peace shall they add on to thee so keep so keeping forgetting not god's law but keeping them in your heart his commandments is going to give you length of days not your days cut in half and a long life and peace shall they add to thee let not mercy and truth forsake thee so when you're a bloody and deceitful man are you showing mercy are you truthful so God tells you, let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck. Write them upon the table of thy heart. Are these men these days merciful? Do they have a merciful heart? Are they truthful? Are they honest? Or are they deceitful? And are they unmerciful? But this is the heart that Christ had. He had a merciful heart. He had a truthful heart. This is why there's so much wars and violence in the earth because of men's hearts. Their hearts that needs healing and that needs fixing. Because when the heart is unhealed, when the heart is not right, the mind is not right. 
and they they dwell in violence and deceit and revenge and war and fighting and things like that that's why god specifically talks to men about their hearts he doesn't say my daughter about women's hearts because god made women's hearts different from men's hearts even though he does tell women to guard their heart all of men and women to guard their heart with all diligence and there's things that are generally that he speaks for both men and women but specifically he made men's hearts totally different from women so he gave them different he gave them certain instructions concerning their heart let not mercy and truth forsake thee bind them about thy neck and write them upon the table of thy heart so what is supposed to be written on men's heart mercy and truth so shall thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and men. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, and lean not on thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thy own eyes. That's what God's telling men. Don't be wise in their own eyes because the eyes of a man are never satisfied. That's why God tells him, don't look upon her eyelids because men are always looking at women. You understand this? When God tells a man, be not wise in his own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil because a, man, a man's eyes are never satisfied and they're always looking at women. Our lusting after things, our power. It shall be held to thy navel and morrow to thy bones. Honor the Lord with thy substance and with thy first fruit of all thy increase. So shall thy barns be filled with plenty and thy press shall burst through out with new wine. Now he goes on to talk to these men. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, neither be wary of his correction. For whom the Lord loves, he corrects, even as a father, the son, whom he delights in. So when God chastens them, when he punishes them for things that they shouldn't do, God tells them, don't be wary in that, because he loves them. Because you learn, men learn when they're being corrected. And he tells them, don't despise the chastening of the Lord. Because who God loves, he chastens. Just like a father, his son, who he delights in. So back to the heart. Psalm 73 and 26. My flesh and my heart fails, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. God is supposed to be the strength of your heart. Okay, men's heart, as you can see in Proverbs, they have strict instructions about, about from God about their heart. Because men's heart lusts after beauty, men's, lust, men's heart lusts after power, men's hearts lust after wealth, men's hearts lust after evil things. Men's hearts even imagine evil. Wherefore think you evil in your hearts? And then as God says, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. God didn't say that about women. Men have a harder time forgiving. Showing mercy. That's why God told them about their heart. To bind what on the table of their heart. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about the neck, about thy neck, and write them upon the table of thy heart. Because most men are not truthful and merciful. Now, God, Joel two and thirteen, and rent your heart and not your garments, and turn to the Lord your God, for He is gracious and merciful. That's why God told men's heart to be merciful, because God's gracious. And he's merciful, slow to anger and of great mer and great kindness. Most men are not slow to anger. They're prideful. They don't even have a humble and a contrite heart. Christ had a humble and a contrite heart, and God resists the proud. So men, 
the problem with men is their hearts why they treat women like that why they treat other men like that why they treat children like that why they capitalize on things that they shouldn't because of their hearts that's why god said he'll give them a new heart but men's heart are totally different from women's heart made completely different Now Psalms 4 and 4, stand in awe and sin not, commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still, Selah. Now Deuteronomy 13 and, thir 13 and 3, thou shalt not hearken unto the, oh sorry, forgive me, it was Deuteronomy 11 and 13. And it shall come to pass if you shall hearken diligently unto my commandments which I command you this day to love the Lord your God and to serve him with all your heart and with all your soul. This is about your heart. Now Proverbs 4 and 23, keep thy heart with all diligence for out of it are the issues of life. That's for both male and female. Keep your heart with all diligence for out of it is the issues of life. But especially for men, because men's heart are set in them to do evil, God tells them to bind their heart with mercy and truth. To have a humble and contrite heart. God has specifically said things to men concerning their hearts. And this is why David in Psalms 51 and 10, he says, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Because, okay men's heart are different than women's Luke 6 and 45 a good man out of the good treasure of his heart brings forth that which is good and an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart brings forth that which is evil for out of the abundance of the heart his mouth speaks so didn't God tell you about these forward men? And if you have an understanding and a wise heart, you would be delivered from forward men who speak forward things? Because an evil man, out of the evil treasures of his mouth, he, he, speak, he brings forth which is evil. And for out of the abundance of the heart, his mouth speaks. Because, and it tells you with your thoughts... So with Christ, and Christ knowing their thoughts said, Wherefore think you evil in your hearts? So you're going to, what's in your heart? You're going to think that evil and you'll speak that evil. And you'll operate in that because that's from your heart. That's why it's supposed to be guarded. Guard your heart. Guard your mind. Now in Proverbs 23 and 26, God says, My son, give me thy heart. And let thy eyes observe my ways. Because the eyes of a man are never satisfied. And the eyes of a man are in the earth. So God told him, give to, to a man to give his heart to him. And his eyes to observe his ways. So that he'll understand what's going on in the earth. Understand what's happening with men and women. Do you understand that? God told a man, give me thy heart and let thy eyes observe my ways. That's Proverbs 23 and 26. And God tells a man about wicked women and strange women and women who flatter them. Let not thy heart decline to her ways. Go not astray in her paths because men's hearts get deceived. Men's hearts get hardened. Men's heart are lustful. Men's hearts is what needs healing. And then Proverbs 3 and 5. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Lean not on thy own understanding. And I'm going to stop right there. So you understand why God tells these men. My son. If thou wilt receive my words and hide my commandments with thee, 
so shall thy incline thy ear unto wisdom and apply. So this is an application that needs to be done for men. Apply thy heart unto understanding. This is an application, just like in Proverbs 23, 26, my, my son, give me thy heart. God doesn't even tell him, seek me only with thy heart. Give me thy heart and let thy eyes observe my ways. Because men's heart are made completely different from women. Did God tell a woman, give me thy heart? He said, my sons, cause men's heart. I hope this opened up your understanding, beautiful men, beautiful people, and um, even women to understand that your heart is not made like a man's heart, but men's heart should all, your heart should always be seeking the Lord. No matter what, you're, you're supposed to keep your heart with diligence. God made women's heart a little bit softer, as you can see in how they operate. But beautiful people, I love you all. And I do have another video that I had to put together. Stay blessed.